Happy Spider-Man Day! We celebrate every August 1st, but this year I thought I would share my ranking for all of the Spider-Man movies, starting with my number one, No Way Home. I always say I cannot believe that this film is real, that this film exists, that they actually gave this to us. It was a beautiful celebration of 20 years of cinema. And one thing that I always say that makes No Way Home so special is that Toby and Andrew didn't just return to be cameos. They had a real purpose and it was more than just fan service. It was fan service done right. It was fan service with a purpose. It was fan service with a heart. And it's still one of the greatest theater experiences since like Endgame and Infinity War. And now Deadpool and Wolverine. <laughs> My number two is Across the Spider-Verse. I know it's kind of blasphemy to put like a sequel before the original, but... It's really hard for me to choose between them, but I do feel like I like the second one just a little bit better. I started my comic journey reading Spider-Man because he was always my favorite ever since I was little. And I always felt like the illustrations and comics were so much more creative and original than they could ever do live action, especially with Spider-Man. And that's one of my absolute favorite things about the Spider-Verse movie is that you could do so much with animation. My number three is Into the Spider-Verse. Another reason why Miles is so special to me is because he's half Latino, he's half Puerto Rican, and I'm Dominican. That type of representation was so special to me, especially in a Spider-Man story. Like, it just made my heart so happy, and I related to it in so many different ways. But yeah, Sony really did their big one with these. My number four is Spider-Man Homecoming. This film is what really solidified Tom as my favorite Spider-Man. Like, I truly feel like he was meant to play this role. He's just so perfect in it. Such a comic, accurate Spider-Man. And as someone who was born and raised in New York. I was raised in Queens. I felt like this film was the most authentic version of life, not just as a New York kid, but as a Queens kid specifically. The Dominican bodega scene has a really special place in my heart. <laughs> oh yeah, and Robert Downey Jr. is in it, so <laughs> I know some people may disagree with this one, but my number five is Far From Home. This is definitely a personal preference, but this was my comfort movie for the longest time because it came out directly after Endgame and then we were faced with a two-year dry spell. I think this is one of my most like rewatch movies. It just makes me happy. It does have some really sad elements but I just love that Spidey got to leave New York and as someone who had always wanted to go on like a Euro trip this was like my dream. Peter and MJ were also the absolute cutest in this movie. I love how they acted like real awkward teenagers. Like that was so realistic, so spot on. And if you're a Tom Day stan, you know why we love this movie. <laughs> Number six is Spider-Man 2. When I was younger, I would often say that this was one of my favorite movies of all time. So much nostalgia and hands down, no competition. The best of Tobey Spider-Man movies. The train sequence is iconic and the ending of that scene never fails to make me cry. I also just think that Doc Ock is one of the most iconic Spider-Man villains of all time. Number seven is The Amazing Spider-Man. I just love Andrew so much and I love how much he loved being Spider-Man, how much he cared about it. I was so obsessed with this movie when it first came out and I know that technically it's not perfect but to me I'll always think that it's so amazing and it's always gonna have a special place in my heart. Number eight is Toby's first Spider-Man man movie spider-man again while technically not perfect you know not without its flaws it's always gonna have such a special place in our hearts because of the nostalgia like who didn't grow up with this movie it's always gonna be a classic and maybe it should be higher but you know this is all personal preference number nine is the amazing spider-man 2 this movie absolutely broke my heart or i should say our hearts peter and gwen are perfect in this they're the reason why i'm always gonna love this movie it's a little messy like villain wise like they definitely try to do way too much but emma and andrew's chemistry is what makes this movie special like their chemistry was insane i'm never gonna stop crying about how i'm a child of divorce and also about what they did to gwen <laughs> number 10 is spider-man 3 because a mess again they tried to do absolutely too much it's so cringy at times but I give it some extra points just for nostalgia. And also because the black symbiote suit was pretty cool. That's it for my list. If you want to make your own list, you can find it on Letterboxd. And if you want to follow me on there, my username is the same as my TikTok. Happy Spider-Man Day!